Guys and girls, welcome back to The Green Light. I wanted to make this quick video about an idea. A new world monarchy equipped with kings and queens, or maybe just one king, one queen. What if we had a mechanic in the game where we could have kings and or queens for each faction? What would their purposes serve? If we could have a democratic voting system where we elect a monarchy and it rotates every month, obviously it's not a democracy if you have a king. It's, it's sort of a presidency, but we're just calling it king, right? I mean, we can do whatever we want, right? Every month we can have a vote to who will be the new king or queen now that i'm saying that out loud it kind of sounds sounds like what the hell is <laughs> like what's the point right but if you guys can kind of expand on this idea i, I feel like it, it, it can go somewhere i feel like new world has so much potential there's so many different avenues you could take this game and maybe if you do something too far to the left it throws people off or too far to the right if it throws people off but i mean i think this kind of fits into this world right like if we're if we're talking medieval times which is what this seems to be set in the, the time period that this seems to be set in we had kings we had queens and i know inside the companies we have like governors and, and stuff like that we have ranks inside the company but i'm talking about faction wide let's give each faction a leader one that's sweaty you know that's gonna be able to be there most of the time one that is diplomatic one that we elect into power that can negotiate on their own factions behalf they can negotiate peace treaties they can negotiate allyship let's say we have covenant and marauders forming an allyship on one server in one world against the syndicate so we have yellow and green actually able to not friendly fire <laughs> I mean, obviously that would that would be imbalanced, you know, but if the syndicate did something to where that would warrant us combining forces to try to take over land, what about it? You know, what about split land? Let's put it this way. Let's say on one world, one server, the syndicate is just taking over the entire map, right? Syndicate just taken all the way over. Wouldn't it be cool if Marauders and Covenant could band together for a time being? Maybe it won't be forever, you know, but they band together and they go and attack the syndicate and maybe they split the land or maybe the king or queen of Covenant and marauder negotiate that okay if we go take over this land you guys get this you know we go take over this land together as an allyship you guys will get this region and we'll get this region or we split regions it'll, it'll probably be better if we negotiate that we you know each person gets a separate region but wouldn't it be cool if we could actually split regions and then from that you know the syndicate might be getting beat down too much and they want to do a peace treaty right so the king of syndicate meets with the king of marauders meets with the king of covenant and there's this epic negotiation that happens between everyone delving more into the rpg aspect of this game it makes sense you know everyone's already invested into the war aspect of the game which already calls for banding together and coordinating with one another and that takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of time what if we add another aspect of the game that makes war that much more the king of the marauders the king of the covenant the king of the syndicate the queen of the marauders the queen of the covenant the queen of the syndicate now i mean i would take it a step further and say uh if there is a queen elected into power she could marry and that would then be the king but i think that's taking it a little bit too far i mean maybe this whole idea is just it just sounds crazy or it just sounds dumb but I, I think there's a place for this in this game and it would be awesome to see something like that uh what do you guys think can we have kings and queens in new world what would be their roles what special privileges should they have what should be the criteria for that king for that queen if something like this gets implemented it probably won't be until you know a long time from now with an expansion or something like that they would call it like king or queen expansions but i think it just warrants the conversation the discussion wouldn't you want to be a king of eternum i think it's interesting guys so uh, let me know what you guys think about that down below i'm about to go get real sweaty myself as sweaty as a casual can get <laughs> And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Keep those green lights on. Peace.